lot today, um, and I'm going to kind of bring it back to basics. Um, I am a uh, Airtable evangelist 24/7, but I also have two jobs working on a business with my business partner, and also have a cons uh, work as a consultant for digital asset management in the day. I learned Airtable through that one, and um, one of the things that I do in that job is I manage vendor relationships. So I use this Airtable for managing interactions, vendor information, and then what we have also expanded to is being able to score those vendors based on an internal scorecard so that we can help with creating short lists for vendor selections, if any of that made sense. This, um, this project has been my baby, and what I want to take it back to is you don't have to know all the things when you're starting out. You don't even have to know what you want it to look like. When I originally started, it was just this one table, um, and then I created tables for some of the information, such as like the industries that their customers are in, the HQ locations for those businesses. The first four tables are literally just about those vendors. Um, what really comes down to is my ability to prioritize have, holding demos with those vendors so that we can learn more about them. So we're able to prioritize quickly through a process. We can see that the different colors and the different blocks of like when we move from we're interested in seeing them to when we want to schedule them for a demo to when that demo is scheduled to hey that demo is complete. We also have links to the recordings for the demos and then what we've started doing now is putting the scores in. Um, the other thing that I have on here is interactions. One of the things that I wanted to mitigate was being a consultant, talking to a lot of vendors, and had, going to a vendor and having them say, oh yeah, I talked to so-and-so the other day. Yikes, that's, that's not the perception that I want to give a vendor. So I want to know when my colleagues have reached out, what was the last thing we talked about, when they say, hey, when, when did we do the NDAs, when did we sign the contracts? Like I have all of that information in here. Um, and then also being able to manage the contacts, and then also to know when I'm talking to that vendor, are they in Missouri, are they in Florida, are they in Belgium? Like, I need to know what timetable we're talking about so that when I schedule something, I know they're gonna be able to. And then I'll know good morning, good night, good evening. Uh, so the other thing that I've set up is- um, Interfaces. Iterating. Yep, working on it. Trying to make it all pretty because um, while we are a data company, I am the main evangelist at our company and um, trying to get my coworkers to use it and find, I'm very excited for interfaces coming to mobile because I like to take this to the conferences and when I mark a vendor at a conference, I'm gonna know who's there. Right now, I can see it in the grid view on mobile, but I can't see it in interfaces and so I can't get my colleagues to use it. So. Um, this is my pretty picture of some of the vendors that we're talking to. I also have a record picker vendor list, um, wow. which I've just recently pulled in some pre uh, pretty logos to be able to use for that. But I can also tell you like who their main customers are, what industries those customers are in, so you can kind of see which markets um, they benefit most. And then I also have, um, just so that my colleagues can see, the number of demos that we've completed, uh, which ones are in the queue, when they got scheduled, a list of the completed demos, we've done a lot. Um, we do focus demos, so I also have a pie chart of which uh, topics we have covered, um, the majority. And then my favorite one right now, is, and I have two of these, I don't wanna show the scores uh, to anyone because I don't want anyone, like any vendor, getting a certain way about what their scores are, so I've anonymized them. I've created a separate row, um, let's see if I can make that bigger. Thing. Yeah, so I've created a separate column and put in vendor ABC for a bunch of the vendors that we've demo with so that I can show this and not give away any secrets of who's doing amazing. Um, I've created the stack bar chart so that I can see how many topics, so we do focus demos so that we're not getting the canned demo with everything. Um, I get to see how well they're doing in specific areas so you can see vendor um, e is doing really well with the, the review approved functionality of their platform, um, but they have not done the demo yet on analytics, so we don't know where they stand yet. So it gives me that ability to see and compare those vendors and then also um, break it down by per demo topic, which ones, so vendor L kind of brought it out of the gate for asset ingestion and then platform E is doing really well with review and approve. And then just because you know you like specific data, you get to list it out at the bottom. So that's that's what we've got so far. This this monstrosity is my baby, and I just want to reiterate, 
You don't have to know where it's going. You don't have to know what it's going to look like or how you're going to do any of it. Just start and do. Yeah. Woo! Connor, you want to come up and do it?